when you are a man and you do exceptionally well you become a superman when you are a woman and you do exceptionally well you must be a man some bodies are marked we have more now on a controversy that has erupted whether one of the runners should be in the men's or women's race the gender that goes unmarked is male with that comes rumors i heard one that you were born a man women are marked as all the ways in which they are different there is a need for a gender verification which is a long complicated scientific process they want to destroy her championship by actually calling her what she's not the world is afraid of black female champions because a high level of racism comes in this history of scrutiny of women's bodies have been created through decades so they asked the athletes to parade nude. The women athletes. The women, only the women athletes, yeah, not the men athletes. Who made them the gods that decide who can be a woman and who can't? They have taken initiative to do surgery on women. Asking those athletes to reduce their testosterone level to create a more level playing field. It is hate mongering and manipulation of the worst kind. When I was in a bed, I didn't know what came out. Hard guys under my berry. And I was asking myself, yeah, what's going on? It's the worst kind of human rights violation in sports. Chantanel, the fastest woman in India, is going to take gold. Some of her competitors had complained that duty ran like a boy. To us, this looked like a case where there was a violation of human rights. This is not just an outcaster. This is about all the athletes you've never heard of. Eventually, she was outed. You know, it was like a scandal. <coughs> it was even to do a suicide. I'm not going to take medication because I'm not sick. <laughs> Human rights principles are there to protect against discrimination. From a human rights perspective, that is essentially saying who is human and who is not human. How do you castigate a category of persons as insufficiently human? By throwing their gender into doubt.